What's up guys? I'm Brittany. And I'm Tyler. And it's Monday morning here at Wallace Farm and Sawmill. Today we're going to saw this. We're going to saw this big pine log into 2 by 4 by 40s for our pallet cans. Alright guys, so I got a big pine log. We'll throw a tape measure on it. We'll see how big it is. It's kind of hard to tell from the camera here, but it's a very nice butt cut pine. Um, I'm estimating before I go put the tape to it, probably 22 inches or more. So that's a good one. It's 10 foot long. Let me tell you what we usually saw here. So we do a lot of pallet stock. Pallet stock for us, we do inch and a half by three and a half by 40 inches. So it's a nominal two by four, 40 inches long. And uh, so we'll get three runs in this log. Being that it's a 10 foot six log, you'll get one, two, three sections. So we're gonna have a guessing game in the comments. I want everybody to go in the comments right now before you continue the video and see how many you think are inside this log. Now keep in mind, there's three pieces per individual two by four. So say for example, if your guess was you think there's 50 two by fours in there, it's 150 pallet stock pieces. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw this tape measure on here and let's see what we got, what we're working with. Let your estimates be off some figures here. So, all right, that's a, 24, yeah, pull it on around. Come on, yeah, that's the 24 inch log. If you see, there's your two foot mark right there, pretty much inside of bark. Not much bark on this other side. So that's a clean 24 inch log all day. So it's 24 inches on a little end. Go ahead and get us a measurement on the big end just for the guessing people out there that wanna see how many they think's in here. We'll give all the figures. All right, so we're about 30. 30. Yeah, about 30. All right, so there's your measurements on the log. Like I said, 10 foot long, and we're going to get three 40-inch pieces. So however many two-by-fours you think it is, just times it by three, and then we're going to get those stacked up. So here's the real question, and Britt has to answer this one, and she's running away from the camera right now. <laughs> How many do you think is in there? Now you do this every day, so you should have a pretty good estimate. Mm, I'm gonna say 250. 250, all right. So I'm going to come up with my estimate right now in my head. And I'm gonna base it off some figures and you're gonna see me think this through. Four, I think I'm gonna get four cants. Stand those up probably going to get mm, 12 drops let me do some math give me a second okay so i did my math i did my what what i think here guys i'm coming up with 200 i'm going to go with 200 to be safe you said 250 i feel like you've overestimated but we're going to see it's going to be close to 200 for sure so let's see what we can make happen here Okay, so to start this video off, we gotta get this thing turned on to the sawmill. It's pretty big, but I think this is a turnable log. Don't need no tools, really. Or tractor or anything. Famous last words if I have to use it, huh? Let me see what we got here. Yeah, we'll just roll it on over and scoot it around there. All right, guys, that log had so much taper, I decided to go ahead and jack that up, and get that on some blocks, kind of even it out a little bit. Looks about right now.
guys, we're gonna start an individual stack because these side cuts will go into our count. So we'll put this one right here. I got some others from the other day, but we're gonna put these here, probably get about six or seven of them, and then we'll run those through the edger to get our total count on this log. All right, so we're gonna record the first turn because that's usually the hardest. After that, the log is continually getting smaller. Guys, let me interject this time lapse to explain what we're doing here. You've seen us get through all that. We stopped sharpening the blade, finished chopping her down. Now they're all three and a half inches wide. We got, I said four in the beginning. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five cants. So now what we're going to do is simply explain how we'll cut these two befores. They're three and a half inches wide. Now we'll stand those up and make inch and a half drops all the way to the bottom. So now we are tasked with turning those up on their edge and uh Britt, i don't think you can do that solo so i better set this camera on the pedestal over there yeah, all right as you can see we got the back stops turned up put Brittany on that end me on this end and hopefully we'll be able to stand these up we're going to saw these three and then two so we'll do three cans all the way down then we'll put the two cans back on saw them all the way down
there's the first official two two by fours. I'm gonna give you guys a quick show of what, what's gonna happen to these. So we got two here, now she's gonna make them into three. Well, six because there's two of them. Oh, I guess I could have slid them, huh? All right, guys, so that's what's going to happen here. I'm going to set you up on a time lapse as I break the rest of that log down. Probably get about halfway on that log, and then I'm going to swap it over here, and you can see these as they get built. And what she's doing here is prepping this pallet to stack. We put 327 of these individual pieces to a pallet. So let's get cracking here. down to you see what we got stacked behind me over here and then we got nothing left but the edgings to be done so about to see who's the closest here is it gonna be me or will or it me. who knows we're gonna find out soon get you guys set up on the stand we're gonna put that stack from that log we got let's see was it one two three four like five maybe six of them there we'll run those six through right here we're gonna see who's winning this competition All right, guys, there's the final count. Don't forget to go in the comments below. Give us what you think. Let me turn the camera around. You guys just missed out on Brittany's victory dance as she's laughing behind me and doing her dance. Because let me tell you, I said 200, she said 250. 250. And we said whoever's closest, not about over or under, whoever's closest. This count came out to 200 and 26 <laughs> which is the one point to put her over to her side of winning 226 out of one log 
for the pallet company. I'm spinning you around here and showing you that. Look guys, I'm pointing at it. Don't get offended. It's wood. It doesn't have feelings. Anyways, guys, that was a good one. Uh, it was a real big log. I was trying to think of something fun and unique to make pallet wood more fun. Because look, I'm always bringing you in on custom Friday and Saturday. Or Saturday. Thursday and Fridays when we're doing our custom orders. Because, well, they're more unique and they're more fun. And you get to see interesting uh, characteristics in wood. This is what we do every day. We make about six of those pallets every Monday through Wednesday. And we deliver those to a pallet, local pallet company. So that's our bread and butter, and uh, it's pretty monotonous. So thanks for sticking along and watching through to the end there. Um, Britt, you got anything you want to talk about before we close this one out? I uh, go don't forget fan. to uh, go to our uh, app down, or not app, but Patreon link down below. Our link down below uh, for our Patreon, where we do lots of exclusive uh, fun behind, behind the scenes things. And also our merchandise. Don't forget to check that out as well. So there's a link in the description below to Bonfire, which is a t-shirt company that we can host our business through and we have a storefront with them. They got some cool stuff. Go back in the last video, you can see Brittany wearing one of those shirts. My shirt's coming in today. So you'll see me in the next video on Friday. Uh, I'll be wearing that shirt. We're gonna do something cool, I hope, by then. I got some stuff in the orders with the cedar and cypress and some cool stuff coming up. Also, got to do my porch post. So, uh, yeah. Patreon description in the link below, run by Brittany. She's taking a bunch of photos throughout the day of everything we're doing here. So if you want to see more consistent content of what we're doing, join along there. And if not, look, twice a week we're dropping videos on YouTube. We're staying pretty consistent with it, guys. I appreciate all the follows. I appreciate all the views. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up. Till next time, guys. See ya.